Hey everybody, it's Caden from Achievement Hunter bringing you the major gaming releases for July in this episode of Coming Soon. As always, let's hit the multi-platform releases first. Delayed from last month, Dark is released on the 5th for PC and on the 9th for the Xbox 360. Similar to Infamous and Prototype, Dark features a main character who has only recently become super powerful. Rather than shooting lightning or having blades for arms, main character Eric Bane was recently unwillingly turned into a vampire. With his new abilities geared more towards stealth action, you'll have to learn your powers well to uncover the secrets of the vampires and get your revenge. A level up system, plenty of branching dialogue choices, and an art style reminiscent of graphic novels, Dark brings some flair to the genre. Fans of football will rejoice as NCAA Football 14 launches on July 9th for the Xbox 360 and PS3. NCAA 14 features a new gameplay and real-time physics engine that greatly expands on the tried-and-true mechanics of previous installments. Dynasty Mode now features power recruiting, allowing you to flow quickly from dealing with players and background coaching to getting back to the game. Additionally, Achieving Goals gives you the ability to level up your coach and recruiting skills giving you a leg up on the competition. On July 16th, the series that kicked off This Is for Achievement Hunter gets its next installment. Dynasty Warriors 8 will be released for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Tweaks to the game's minor mechanics have been made, including the addition of elemental affinities to weapons. These elements are Man, Earth, and Heaven. These elements form a slight rock-paper-scissors effect on the battle system, giving the player the ability to have the upper hand on the field of battle. With free mode returning, the addition of ambition mode, updated graphics, frame rate fixes, an overhauled weather mechanic, and featuring nearly 80 characters, the series has never looked better. Time to put a smile on, Jack. One of your favorite series is back. Coming out alongside the film, Turbo Super Stunt Squad for the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, Wii, 3DS, and DS is released on July 16th. The story picks up after the film's climax and allows players to explore the places seen in the movie in more detail. Racing, doing tricks, tons of objectives and missions, Turbo Super Stunt Squad is shaping up to be something fun for family game night. It seems the movie-to-game adaptations can't get enough of Ryan Reynolds, as on July 16th, the same day as Turbo's release, we'll see R.I.P.D. The Game for the 360, PS3, and PC. Having been working side-by-side -side with Universal Studios, the developer Old School Games assures players that they will be treated to a film-authentic experience. A third-person shooter focusing on a two-player co-op campaign, Old School Games tells players that if they want the best experience, to grab a buddy. However, the campaign will be playable with an AI partner. Alongside what's usually seen in third-person shooters, R.I.P.D. implements an in-game betting system. This system has the two allies bet against one another and put their money where their mouth is to prove who's the better player. The movie tie-ins continue on July 23rd with the release of The Smurfs 2 for the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, Wii, 3DS, and DS. Build is fun for the whole family, Smurfs 2 is a platformer that allows up to four simultaneous players on console versions of the game. Smurfs 2 has plenty of playable characters, each with their own unique abilities, and six very expansive worlds to explore. 2010's Arcania Gothic 4 gets re-released on July 30th as Arcania The Complete Collection for the 360 and PS3. This complete collection will include the Fall of Seraph DLC as well. Finally, also on July 30th, Terraria launches its Collector's Edition for the Xbox 360 and PS3. This retail edition not only contains Terraria, but a collectible 2GB memory stick shaped like a pickaxe, a new items crafting poster, and three vellum character stickers. Now that multi-platform games are out of the way, it's time to focus on the exclusives for July. Let's take a look at Nintendo exclusives first. July 2nd gives us Crash City Mayhem for the 3DS. 36 missions, 15 different vehicles, from tanks to race cars, and a discounted retail price makes this game packed with fun for those on a budget. And on July 16th, Shin Megami Tensei 4 for the 3DS is released. It's been almost a decade since we've had a proper Shin Megami Tensei game, and this one promises to deliver exactly what fans have expected, as well as being one of the best-looking 3DS games to date. The Xbox 360 is a little light on exclusives this month. First, we've got Scourge Outbreak on July 3rd. However, we'll see this game go multi-platform later in the year. Scourge Outbreak is an arcade third-person shooter that gives players a campaign lasting over six hours and also includes four-player co-op and eight-player versus online modes. On July 16th, the Serious Sam collection containing the first encounter, the second encounter, before first encounter, the Jewel of the Nile DLC pack, and Double DXXL is released. And finally, with no solid release date, but assured to come out in July, is Halo Spartan Assault for Windows 8 devices and Windows Phone OS. Spartan Assault is a twin-stick top-down shooter with a plot that gives us some sight into the four years between Halo 3 and Halo 4. Time to move on to Sony exclusives. On July 9th, the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection is released for the PS3. This Legacy Collection contains Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid and its VR missions, Metal Gear Solid 2 HD, Metal Gear Solid 3 HD, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Peace Walker HD. Besides these games, it also includes two motion comic movies and a Legacy art book. 
A Vita remastering of last year's Velocity Ultra is released on July 9th. This version has been completely redone with the Vita in mind and has improved visuals and gameplay. On July 16th, Time and Eternity is released for the PS3. Taking anime RPG to the next level, Time and Eternity has an art style that would easily fool anyone into thinking that it's more anime than game. Continuing the anime game releases and also launching on July 16th, Memorokun Curse for the PS3 is a Twitch shoot 'em up from the developers of Ikaruga. Lastly, it's time to hit the PC exclusives for this month. July 2nd gives us the point-and-click adventure The Inquisitor, The Plague for PC, Mac, Android, and iOS. The turn-based strategy game Horizon will have players exploring deep space, finding new frontiers, and discovering alien artifacts on July 2nd for the PC. Finally making its way to the iOS, Limbo is released on July 3rd. And also on July 3rd, Mortal Kombat Complete Collection gets its PC launch. Containing the Peninsular campaign and additional unit packs, July 3rd brings Napoleon Total War to max. Civilization V Brave New World launches on July 9th for both PC and Mac, introducing 9 new civilizations, 8 new wonders, 2 new scenarios, and tons of new units and buildings. Build it, blow it up, and shoot it down is the motto of July 11th's release, Guncraft, for the PC. Released on the Wii U earlier this year, Toki Tori 2 Plus makes its way to PC and Mac on July 11th. Delayed from last month and coming out on July 23rd, The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief, gets its PC and Mac release. July 24th gives PC players NASCAR The Game 2013, billed as the most realistic NASCAR game to date. Also delayed from last month, Shadowrun Returns will finally see its release on July 25th for PC, Mac, Android, and iOS. Wrapping up the PC releases and originally released on the Xbox Live Arcade back in May, July 29th gives PC players the chance to play Castle Storm. On the DLC front, there's only one major currently announced DLC. On July 2nd, the Vengeance DLC for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gets its debut on the Xbox 360. Including the DLC are four new multiplayer maps, an all-new Zombies chapter, and the introduction of the Ray Gun Mark II. Looks like X-Ray just got a new weapon. And that wraps up your major gaming releases for July. As always, I'll see you next month for more.